So anyways, this is what my hair looks like when it's not straightened. I did not hold it in a ponytail or anything. I just let it down the whole day after I got out of the shower. So what we gotta do is we're gonna straighten my hair. So anyways, this bird cockatoo hairdo, whatever type of bird it's called. I don't know if you call it a rooster head or something else. Because I know it's not peacock since, uh, you know, someone infamous had did something like that. So, if you have, like, um, kind of a short bob, but, like, with short layers, too, and maybe you used to have bangs that probably grew, like, around this long, this will ought to work, and I'll show you. So this is what my hair looks like uh, when it's straight. After uh, it took me 12 minutes to straighten that, which is not bad at all. So yeah, these are how long my bangs grew. So it's kind of like some short hair to like, you know, but still these layers are probably a little more shorter or maybe not. And yeah, basically on any bob, it's, it's like you have bangs in the back of your hair. And, I mean, even when you have long hair and you have bangs in the front, these are your bangs, but yeah, how Bob feels like, it's like having very short bangs from the back. And I kind of like have it a little bit both ways, so you'll see. Alright, here's the last step I do. I brush down. Get a big one if you if your hair is thick like mine. And you make your ponytail high up like this. And then when you see it like this, there. You'll see it looks very odd. And also, take a look here. Yeah, like I said. Sometimes a bob is like having back things in the back of your head, and then when I put them on the front, yeah, you'll see. Looks like they are growing a bit long, but you know, they're short to fit. 
fit up to here. But it's getting there. Oh yeah, it's getting there. And then uh, it sort of started to look different. I'm not going to say hashtag I woke up like this. No. Do it. Does anybody even use that hashtag anymore? I don't think so. Or maybe they do. But yeah, now, yeah, now it's like, yeah, sort of covering up the forehead like as if they're trying to be bangs and yeah. yeah and then when I go back it starts to look like some silly bird or some kind of fountain and then there and then these are the back of them yeah a little different than last night I'd say so yeah very silly hairdo and this is how I high up the ponytail is I just put it like this like I guess to uh, grab a hold of my bangs, even though my bangs are practically growing. And as for these, uh, like, this is how far they can go. I can still put a ponytail back here, and they probably do hold my bangs, but yeah, yeah even in the backside, baby hairs are there. But you know something? I, I do have, um, yeah, the hair finishing stick. It's to, like, really do it on your baby hairs, but sometimes I don't really use it that much unless I want to like look good for an interview, except I'm not going to use this silly looking hairdo for an interview, but yeah, I'll, I'll put my point tail like a little bit back, and I guess whether I still have baby hairs in the back that don't want to get into the ponytail, then yeah, whatever, but I'll, I'll show you guys this. Let's put the ponytail like a little more back so it doesn't look silly if I go out like this in public. All right, and that's the finished business. So there we go, looking ordinary. You can see my bangs and I guess the rest of the annoying. All right, guys, that is all for this video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and peace out.